What are you doing? I feel like I'm in Breaking Bad and I'm making crystal meth. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> or I'm one of those cleaners. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Reno Goals. So this is the main bathroom and also laundry. It's very small, it's very pokey. We all have to share this and the family's getting bigger and we just don't fit anymore. Currently, this is a three bedroom house and this is the main bathroom. There is another smaller ensuite as part of the guest room, but essentially the entire family have to share this very small space. So to say that it's crowded is just a little bit of an understatement. It also houses the laundry, so it's not particularly good for privacy. There really isn't much to save in this room. Nope. The layout doesn't work and we need to make way for the new wing. Like it's narrow, like I was nervous about how narrow it was, but I can work with this. design concept for the bathroom. I'm really excited to be bringing in some color into this room. So I was having a look at lots of beautiful greens from Dulux. I have decided on this one in particular though. So this is Tranquil Green. I will be painting using their kitchen and bathroom wash and wear. Very important if you're painting in a wet area to use the right type of paint. So with this green, I want to pair these nude tiles. So I like the size of these. These are actually a matte finish. They're going to go on the walls in my wet area and they're also going to wrap my bath as well. On the floor, I'm going to be using this limestone finish tile in order to kind of separate from the smaller tiles that are going on the walls. I actually want to go larger scale. So these are going to be 600 square. That's in ivory and that's from Tile Cloud as well. So after I visited with Reese, I literally left with a bundle of brochures, which was a really great place to start. In fact, if you haven't designed a bathroom before, or even if you have, uh, I highly recommend going to Reese because they do have these like step-by-step -step guides and plan books to show you everything that you need to know about designing a bathroom. So this was incredibly helpful. I have been able to select and finalize all of my finishes in here. So for my vanity, I've chosen the Kato Lucy. I had a couple of different options, but I've stuck to that prime oak finish. So it's got a beautiful timber detailing and it's also got a wonderful white top. And then I'm gonna be consistent with all of the hardware. So bringing in this brushed pure gold. So that's that Lux PVD. I love this finish. We are going to have a lot of hardware in this room. I'm going to bring in a couple of these so you can sort of see how they'll look on both that nude tile and also I like the way it pops on that green. And I've got this, whilst we're not doing this basin mixer, we are going to be doing a wall mount, but this just shows you what it looks like. And then from there, I want to have some fun. I want to bring in some more color because why not? So I'll probably do that through the towels. 
And also with the mirror, I've chosen one that has this open shelving. So again, I'll be able to bring in pieces some vessels and also some extra greenery. Okay, main bathroom downstairs. This Jono caused me a little bit of anxiety. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're fitting a lot into this bathroom. So we have changed the plans. We're gonna be doing a cavity slider. Toilet will be here. Vanity will be here, which has got a beautiful, uh, slightly left aligned basin. I really loved the vanity and the cabinets that we chose for this space. This slight step down is our wet area. So I'm actually gonna differentiate. This section will be tiled. Whereas this section, I'm going to be doing some paneling. So I'm going to make sure that the wet looks very different to the dry area. We've got our shower here, up here. We're actually going to be going from the ceiling. So we've got a ceiling mount. I actually realized I ordered the wrong one and had to change it because the one I ordered was for obviously a very dramatic home. And it would have like, it would have like hit you in the head. So I'm glad I picked that up and uh, made the change. And then here, we've also got a hand shower as well. So I have chosen a beautiful tub, but it is basically the most practical um, for this space. And we're going to be building a slight little nib. Um, so there's a little edge. I don't have much room, but there's a little lip on it so you can actually sit and you can, you know, bathe your kids, that sort of thing. That's the plan. But for a room that was stressing me out and causing me a lot of grief in my mind, I think this is gonna be a bit of a showstopper. I'm pumped. No, you, you dad? Yeah, well, how often, the thing is, I'm like, how nah. often do you do this? I just wanted no, I extra space for you. I reckon it's more that you're down here leaning over, so you don't want to be too far away because you've got to lean over the whole lot. Also, your so, you know, dad in six says, don't put it in. Yeah. I don't know. Your yeah. bath kids. I wouldn't you're have a dad. It. Nah. You wouldn't have it. Nah. Nah, I don't have, I don't have really? too many Do you guys actually do there. bath time? I'm going to check oh, yeah. in here. All right, good. <laughs> and to lift it, Just yeah. checking. Because you've got to. If you're back here, you'd be sort of standing here and reaching over to lift them out. Okay. Whereas if it's here, you can get in, and you know it's a bit easier. Do I? Just go straight down. Breaking Bad and I'm making crystal meth. Yeah, you're not. Or I'm one of those cleaners that, <laughs> that clean up dead bodies. Come into my murder room. This is my murder room. Number one, I've got a couple, a few in fact. So, spraying the ceilings, getting them done so we can tile and get it beautiful. I leave the site for four days. I'm away for four days and I come back and 
it's not right. Like it's just like my concept was to have a tiled wet area and a VJ dry area that was going to be a totally different color. Like there was a concept there. <laughs> There's a vanity here with a mirror and you were meant to see the color over here, but now it's just all been tiled except for this one little bit, which is not what I wanted. So now I'm going to have to speak to the tiler on Monday and be like, hey, options, take everything down, which I can't get him to take it down. It actually looks really good. But I just think that that, that now looks like we've run out of tiles or something. Like we can't have that. I'm gonna have to get him to tile everything and I'm just gonna have to scrap my concept. Uh, four days. I can't have four days off. Uh. So while I have a little chat with our tiler and ask very nicely for him to tile the rest of the bathroom, our builders are getting to work installing the Kato Lucy mirrored cabinet from Reese. Tiles are happening in the main bathroom. Good result. Good result. It looks very good. Thank you so, so much. It's All going right. to be epic. You've saved the day. You've saved the day. That's a sexy tap. That is a seriously sexy tap. Mm. All right, do you know what I'm gonna do? We've got so many different products here, so many different bathrooms. I'm gonna sort this, make sure we've got everything, put it into rooms. And write on something. Yeah, and make sure that we've got the right things for the right room, so I don't want anything wrong happening. Look what I've done. What have you done? I've, I'm getting organized. So our plumber has everything where he needs it to be. So these are my different bathrooms and en-suites. How good am I? Very organized. So we've got Siebel underfloor heating. Very exciting, like very exciting. But Coxie's just Showing me this, well, you show them what you just showed me. So the wall controller for the underfloor heating has scheduling and all sorts of other functions enabled on it. One of the great functions though that it's got is that you can actually see your energy use time over the last seven days, during the last month, during the last year, and then you can actually see how many kilowatts and how much it's costing you week, month, and by the year. All right, so we're nearly there. Obviously, I didn't get the green on the walls, which was part of my original concept. So I have made sure to bring green in through my bath towels. I'm also bringing in a lot more color as well. So I'm gonna dress this up and we'll be finished. say that slight mishap we had with the tiling actually worked out incredibly well. I actually love having tiles across all four walls. 
It's a lot of ceiling as well. Yeah, I think it looks really impactful. I really love the way it looks against that vanity. I was a little bit upset that I couldn't bring more color into the room. I did try to integrate it a little bit in the textiles, but ultimately, I mean, it's a fairly neutral room now, isn't it? It's classy and classic. Classy and classic, says Jono. Tick, thank you. <laughs> I had a lot of fun choosing vanities. So I have actually selected different vanities for different bathrooms, but kept it consistent with my hardware. So I have stayed with that beautiful Sussex Scala range in that brushed brass gold. So that's my consistent element but I have been able to play around with, I guess, the different designs of the vanities and have some fun with them. The reason why I chose this one, I just liked the curved nature of it. I loved how it was left aligned. We kind of needed something like that as well because I didn't want it to be too close to the actual shower screen itself. Yeah, it works in that room because it's like a skinny long room. Mm. So if everything was like centered and evenly spaced, it'd be a little bit- Forced. Awkward. Yeah. And I love the way the sink slopes as well. So it's just that beautiful, flat, very soft, smooth surface. So everything just feels very clean. And also it actually is very easy to clean as well at the same time. I really like that matching mirrored cabinet and the fact that it matches that left alignment and allows you to have that open shelving. I do always love putting Devil's Ivy in a bathroom because it's very hard to kill. It's a very good plan to put in a bathroom and also I needed to bring some greenery in somehow. <laughs> to replace your missed green wall. Yeah, exactly. That ceiling mounted shower head does it for me. I love it. It works so well in that space and then with the addition of the hand shower as well, I think it's a nice touch. It does. We've got a whole row of mixes. <laughs> yeah, we do. Because <laughs> you've gone separate, ceiling mounted, hand shower and then the bath. Yes. It looks kind of cool though. You walk in, you see heated towel rails, yes. showstopper oh. and then all the mixes in a row on that one wall. So it's good. actually a clean way of doing it. It is. Yeah. It is. And we were where, you know, I was a bit conscious about where they go to make sure that they look good, but I like the fact that we've lined them up. It actually, it's mainly just based on it's functionality. Functional. Yeah, and practicality and where you actually need your mixer to be. But yeah, the bath worked Ooh. out really well. That's a super deep, generous bath. It is for the size of it. Have you sat it's in it? No, I've never been in it. I have bathed in it oh, already. Yeah? I oh, give good. it the big tick of approval. Well, that's good, because it it's the smallest bath we could get to fit yeah. in that space. It's literally, I think it's exactly 1500. I love the way those nude tiles wrap around the bath. It's a nice subtle contrast with that white of the bath and also with the white of the grout as well. It's the small things that make it for me. Like? The under cabinet lighting, underfloor heating again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. heated towel rails, oh, so but the exhaust fan. I like the exhaust the, fan. The exhaust Do you know fan. why? Why? They're actually quiet. And that they is, work. That is true. They that work. True. They've got a really big inline fan and they <laughs> legit work even in a small room. But they don't make a heap of noise. I'm glad after all that design work, you come away yeah. saying, I really like the exhaust fan. Yeah. I mean, my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, what I was really proud about in this room was that it was a narrow space and we tried to fit a lot in and we have actually made it feel incredibly generous. And this was a room and layout that was causing me significant anxiety, I must admit. Because of how narrow it was? Because of how narrow it was, it yeah. Was a bit narrow. And so because I wanted it to feel grand and feel like a main bathroom, I was trying my best with, you know, choosing the right pieces for that space and I think just quietly nailed it. Yeah, it works. Can I shotgun this room? Go for it, you're designing it. Yeah, I design it, I get it. I'm just trying to see what I can fit here. Probably, it's actually- Probably needs to be a square. No. Ropes don't fit. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh no, <laughs> what are you doing? Welcome back to Lucy Paints. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm changing our channel name. What do you think? To Lucy Paints. Just dedicated to Lucy, just painting. Oh, my right biceps like trembling at the thought, but let's do this. Is it approved? Yeah, they're all good. I know, I always choose well. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God.
I do like these. <laughs> I, know, these things. Yeah, I know you do. Because they're quiet and they actually work. Like you had a shower in here before <laughs> and you had a bloody steam room. You run a steam room. I hate it when it's steamy when you get out of the shower. It's the worst. You need to design your own range of exhaust fans. <clears throat> Like Jono approved. Yeah. I'd have like three separate ducks <laughs> in line fans all together. So it creates like some weird centripetal motion of the thing going out and that just replaces the air every three and a half seconds. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Coming Any, soon. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs>